TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. A little warning screen. Probably, probably definitely need it for this video. So just, you know what I'm saying? Take heed to it. Um, don't forget, we are on Twitch.com. Once again, usernames at the bottom of the screen. Uh, appreciate the how to uh, appreciate the bits, <laughs> ghost. Uh, don't forget, man. Um, Patreon as well, man. We started Game of Thrones on there. We just started that last week, and we've already watched three episodes. Tough. <laughs> this is uh, no go zones. World's toughest places. This is Ghost Town, South Africa? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Africa. Cape Town, South Africa. The country's oldest city. Africa's southernmost tip is home to almost four million people. Prosperity prevails on one side of the town. Dang, I forgot. So let's continue to grow the family from the UK to Chicago and all around the world because this is Cape Town, South Africa. Big business, flashy cars, and last but not least, a fabulous lifestyle. But just a few miles away from the center of downtown, it's like a whole other world. Mitchell's Plain Township, home to 300,000 people. According to official stats, almost 1,600 physical attacks take place here every year. 200 sexual assaults, 5,000 drug-related offenses, and 140 murders. This is Africa? This looks like Miami Gardens. This whole setup was crazy. However, no one is certain of the unofficial... Google Miami Gardens hood. That's what it looks like. ...official figures. These facts alone make it sound pretty dangerous. However, even in Mitchell's Plain, there is one block that no one dares to enter. Ghost Town. Territory belonging to the ugly American street gang. No police or ambulances will help you here. It's one of the- Hold on, what this got to do with America? Why is the gang named Ugly America? The toughest and most dangerous neighborhoods in the world, a definite no go zone. All of Cape Town's slums are located within a specific area, a place known as Cape Flats. Mitchell's Plain is the largest of these slums, and right at the heart of it, you will find Ghost Town. A kingdom belonging to one man. He writes the laws here, and he decides who lives and who dies. Kaldi Mola Madat, nicknamed Dimes, boss of the Ugly Americans gang. He's been ruling over Ghost Town for the past 37 years, and he will do anything to defend his territory. Dad, we get rid of any enemy who enters our area. Definitely. Without a doubt, 50% chance he'll die. 50% chance he'll wind up in hospital. 50, hold on. It will always be one of those two options. According to estimates, Cape Town is home to over 100 gangs, and nearly all of them have their own patch. So the result? The borders between these patches end up turning into battlegrounds. According to official figures alone, South Africa records 57 murders a day. Most of these are committed in the area of... Chicago ain't got nothing on y'all, buddy. 57 is insane. A day? Around Ghost Town. Lord. 
Hey, Good. everything okay with you guys? Papolia. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Hello. <laughs> You can die here within the blink of an eye without a single soul noticing. Everyone knows that. That's why this area is known as Ghost Town. Dimes Gang, the Ugly Americans, is a splinter group of the main gang, the Americans, which is the largest in Cape Town. And its members are among the toughest around. But why? I mean, why? who thought of it Maine, though? And why? On the corner of Marydale Monsoon Avenue, the headquarters, also known as the White House, located. Oh my God! They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. I mean, maybe this is how they view politics in America. The biggest it is, but the, the biggest gangster. The White House is insane. What is happening? It had right on the western. Is it at least white? Order of Ghost Town. Bullets, Molotov cocktails, bombings. The center of this no-go zone has survived every attack made oh, on it right. to date. The gang used this as their base for defending their turf, planning holdups, murders, and running their core business, drugs. The members are ready and waiting for their next briefing. Is that a little boozy? With the boss, dying. We do everything in our headquarters. We punish people, make trades, and lead negotiations. And it's where we sell our drugs, too. We meet there on a regular basis to plan everything in detail. Brother, what language is he speaking? No, no, because it sounds like three different languages. Y'all hear it? Listen to it. The basis to plan everything in detail. Even small fry are permitted to hang out in front of the building. However, the White House itself is reserved exclusively for a tight knit group of the toughest members. A briefing in the headquarters. Dimes summons his most loyal henchmen to a meeting once a week. And as always, expects nothing less than blind obedience. Setting up this boy, I know he a try hard. He's a try hard gangster. Like he, this is embedded in his DNA. Well, he holding it down forever. Is it the boss? Dimes is his right hand man, Yan Mei, nicknamed Boozy. His rank, general. His specialty, knives. Man, Boozy is crazy. And boss, you know too, bone. Dale mosca. And in the middle of the table, the killing machine, Andre Gideon, nickname Anna. Gucci. The weapons expert, no less. Even Ghost Town has its own rules, though they lie outside the law. And no gang member is safe from them. Any violation quickly results in death. <laughs> Mass murderer Anis is accusing the gang member of stealing a cell phone. A typical crime committed by drug users. The verdict? Guilty. What follows is the ugly American's usual forms of punishment. From a beating or torture to execution. Wait a minute. Hold on now. We're go we're going too fast. Where is the the machine going? All he did was take a f who phone did he take though? Was it one of the members? Unregistered firearms, 
There are five million such weapons throughout the whole of South Africa. On average, 10% of the population own one. This rises to almost 100% in the no-go zone. The police attempt to fight back with machine guns and pump guns. Pistols. Here you'll find pistols. They're all over the place. Our streets are full of them. 12 o'clock in ghost town. The Spanish Air Time for a patrol through the no-go zone. Knife master Boozy and killing machine Anas. Both cold, hard killers lead the group. The patrol unit are making their way to the railway tracks. You know what I'm noticing right now? Like, gangbanging is normally like a young man's sport. You know what I'm saying? At a certain age, like, you gotta bow out and just become an OG and play the background. Like, all of these dudes is in their 40s. Y'all still outside? I mean, I know it's a different culture. Like, I know it's not like, you know what I'm saying? The outermost limit of the no-go zone. Ghost town ends here, and enemy territory begins. Okay, I see some here. The tracks, a line that no one should cross if they want to live to see another day. Two days ago, Anas almost lost his life at this exact spot. Another gang, the Dixie Boys were out to kill him. What do you do? That's an American gun. That's right. It's my gun. That's right. That's right. Americans. Enemy. Yes, Americans. Yes, Americans. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Anas is planning to hit back soon. And there's no one he fears less <coughs> than the police. No cop would dare to come here. Until now, that is. A new special unit was recently introduced in an attempt to bring the situation oh, under control. The anti-gang unit. Oh my god, it's that bad where they got a, 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 they got the gang task. 95 team members are now investigating the toughest gangs, working with undercover cops and informers, and slowly but surely they are getting results. The police's operating base is just 10 kilometers northeast of Ghost Town. As the they don't got no, they don't call it the British Knights or something? Why is it just the Americans? Why can't it be the British Knights out here? Crow flies. An assignment meeting. The boss, Major General Andre Lincoln, is putting pressure on his team. There have been far too many deaths over the past few days. A team made up of specially trained police officers and soldiers are supposed to put a stop to this. It's the fact that over this weekend, um, just in gang-related murders, there have been 15 and there have been 10 attempted murders. This is totally unacceptable. It is unacceptable to this unit at the top of the most wanted list, a member of the Americans gang. The gang that owns the ghost town territory, wanted for a brutal murder. Danny, you and them, when we go up one of the two flats on the top. Captain Arzia Gyefta will lead the assignment. That's what I was, okay, that was the third language that I was hearing, like, it was like an Arabic, it was like some Spanish, and then it was like some, some like, like Hindu, Hindi, like, what's the name, Ur, Urdu, Urdu, Ur, 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 yeah, yeah, I don't know, I'm cultured. Her goal, to head straight into Cape Flats and follow the tip-offs provided by several informants. She heads to the first address. Our boss, our general, always laugh and say there's no such thing as a no-go area for policemen. We are the gang unit. We are meant to go to those places where no one else wants to go to. But generally in the police, there aren't places where the policeman will tell you that is a no-go area because that is why we employed to go and address 
the no-go area where the normal citizen can't go. The teams in the response vehicles are applying special tactics. They split up just before they reach their destination. So guys, close to target, please just keep it tight. Blocking off any nearby escape routes. That's when the raid begins. No one is permitted to leave the area. It's over with. We definitely about to find a lot. The first potential criminals are willing to cooperate, but the house is full of nooks and crannies. Nobody knows if anyone is still hiding in there. At first glance, the assignment appears to have failed, or a sham. The weapons turn out to be toy guns. All the police find is a sword. Nevertheless, a state of red alert still prevails, not least due to the countless fighting dogs owned by the spectators, ready to pounce on command at any time. Most houses we get to, it's either massive dogs like that or pit bulls, but it's always a very big dog and a vicious and aggressive dog. And the dogs are, are not tolerant of the police. Let me put it that way. She kind of sounds like she got an Australian accent too. The first search has come to an end. The anti-gang unit has collected three suspects. And perhaps they'll break one more too. During questioning, down at the station. Perhaps their next lead will take them to the murderous member of the Americans gang. The captain is still hoping for success. That was definitely a failed raid. Like, they found absolutely nothing. To be in a no-go zone and not know where you're going is insane. Like, you would... How did, how did documentary person know exactly where to go, but you don't as the police? The shift is over when the job is done. And there are days where the job isn't done for 16 or 17 hours later. So this must be something that you love to do because otherwise you're going to work yourself to death. The next raid is underway, and the cops are closing further in on gang leader Dimes. Meanwhile... You gotta know he's probably moving around. All of these are being done in one day and not simultaneously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not catching, buddy. He is personally checking the situation in his no-go zone, alone, without any bodyguards. Not a problem for Dimes. As long as the people of Ghost Town stick to Dimes' rules, they will be under his protection. But if they break them, they will be punished. Everyone here is willing to protect him. Dimes' career began when he was young. He well and truly wiped out his predecessors, the gang known as the Nice Times, using a cleaver. Many have tried to take his place. Dimes has almost lost his life several times. This is exactly where they attacked me. I played dead. Put my arm over my head. <laughs> they wanted to shoot me in the head, but only managed to get my hand. They thought I was dead. Took my weapon and ran off. And I'm still alive. So playing dead worked. If possums can do it and other animals, shoot. That's just one of 17 murder attempts. Dimes survived them all. Maybe that's why people look up to him, particularly the youngest inhabitants of the no-go zone, and why they want to be part of everything that Dimes has created. Around 60 henchmen now work for him, and the number is growing all the time. Uh, we don't worry about who's driving around here. If they want to shoot us, they must shoot. Because where we, we stand, in God we trust. I we must. If they did. God we trust, my brother. 
That's not how this works. <laughs> here to come here, we just shoot back. We are not scared. By we, he means his obedient lackeys. Almost all of them are junkies. Drugs are what fuel the no-go zone. Now, you didn't, listen, how are you going to put that much trust into them, then, if they're currently struggling with addiction? Never. Never put faith in a, in a J. The worst drug of them all, Tuk, also known as crystal meth. Oh my God! Yeah, they on it back. It has been spreading through the. This is the hands down. In my opinion, this is the worst, the worst drug that you can be on. Whole country from Cape Flats since the year 2000. Okay, this and fit, but like, but this is terrible. Addiction counselors reckon that one in five young people, alone in and around Cape Town, now takes crystal meth. And then there's Mandrax, a synthetic drug normally smoked through the neck of a bottle. It acts it as a even worse. downer following the high of crystal meth. No other country in the world consumes as much Mandrax. The drugs sold in Ghost Town don't take long to leave the borders of the no-go zone and to various places around. So when you two geeked off meth, you go take the other one? Is that what they just told us on this documentary? That's insane. What's the point? But I'm saying, though, that's still insane. Cape Town. Nikita lives in the northwest of the city, nice along with here. her son and her boyfriend. She's a prostitute and a drug addict. She takes Mandrax and crystal meth on a daily basis. This Africa? Family time on Sunday afternoon. Nikita earned a lot last night, enough to pay for the electricity and buy some food. Her wish is for her son to have all the opportunities that she never had. Like my daddy always wanted to be, wanted me to be a lawyer, and my mother wanted me to be a teacher. I tried to become a teacher and all that, and it didn't work out. You must decide one day what you want to be. What do you want to be, Jaden? Yeah. IT specialist. Thank you both. Good for you, Jaden. Nikita's path to prostitution started when she was young. Friends first introduced her to drugs. Not long later, she turned to crime to pay for more drugs. And after that, full-blown addiction. The last resort, sex in exchange for money. On the road where we work, they say they call our friends, but they're not really our friends. Friends is just what you find here in the room, the four of us. It's something like that must happen. Then the four of us are there too. We protect each other, man. I can be a girl, I can be a boy, I can be whatever. But yeah, that scene that happened to her, I'll come stand out like Masilon, like I will literally attack the guy. Or Who protects y'all from yourselves, though? That's, that's, the, that's the real question. You protect each other, but who's protecting y'all from doing this self, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Self sabotaging. Just like every other day, late afternoon means it's time to get ready for their prospective jobs. All of them do. Oh. I put techies on, they put aisles on, slippers, whatever, and we're off on our way to work. Goodwood, Vasco Street. What do you call? What do we call? Vasco Goodwood. Our three. playground. Our playground. West Coast, a road not far from the coast, home to expensive vacation homes, gorgeous lagoons, and exclusive golf courses. While the prostitutes are preparing themselves for their day's trading, business is already booming in the no-go zone of Ghost Town. Dozens of junkies, middlemen, and dealers stream towards the ugly American's headquarters. America's influence on gang culture is bar none. This is too crazy. The center for trading, the garage next door. Inside, killing machine Anis and knife master Boozy oversee the drugs trade. It's a busy day, which I made almost 100,000 rain a day. 6,000 euros. To keep the risk of an attack as low as possible, the ugly Americans pursue a specific set of tactics. Drugs. 
this is the White House, you know? this is the headquarters. So the small amounts, we got on the grounds, the grounds of America is was huge. Now there is houses there, there the small, the CR1 ones. Secret temporary storage areas, regular replenishments, never keeping too many drugs in one place, and above all, reliable suppliers. The boss Dimes deals with them personally. No comment. Italian mafias, but the biggest deals in the underworld are made by people who have come to South Africa for precisely this reason. The Italian mafia, the Russian mafia, the Yakuza. You'll find them all here in Cape Town. Nigerians, Pakistanis, mafia from the Congo and Somalia. Somalian mafias. In ghost town, a gram of crystal costs the junkies 18 euros. Just enough for a single hit if you're heavily addicted. It's a tough business. You must be very <clears throat> alert in this game. Because why your life is also important, so you must defend whatever you have. Because why there's a lot of drug dealers on the street, in houses, in hotels, everywhere. A drugs war that is not only ravaging ghost town, but the entire area of Cape Flats. A war in which addicts are prepared to kill for every hit. The anti-gang unit is back on the hunt. An informant thinks that the American wanted... This is the informant gotta be. I, we've seen him in too many pictures. This guy right here. The second time we've seen him. The anti-gang unit is back on the hunt. An informant thinks that the American... He was here, door number two. ...wanted for murder has gone into hiding here. Oh, no, this, never mind. This is a cutscene from the last earlier. Okay. Straight through, straight through, straight through. While Captain Gyafta reassures the first residents... Her team turns over the entire apartment. Uh, and you are now in the same room. Are they actually armed? That makes sense. They are a gang unit. But... Okay, there's another one here. I need more people in here. The police officers catch two suspects and take them to pieces. What the gang boy, Tian? Captain Giafta starts by looking for gang affiliated tattoos and finds nothing. He telling you. Hi. At this precise moment, no one can be sure if one of the suspects is the killer. And the chance of them getting away in one way or another is pretty high. The South Africa. There's always a female cop on every program that we be watching that be looking. African police are constantly Jesus. accused of being corrupt. Even the newly established anti-gang unit has to defend itself against such allegations. I can believe it, though. We are extremely proud. This unit is the first of its kind in the Western Cape, and it's an honor for all of us to be have would have been chosen to be here. Um, it's a first for the South African police services, so there is a huge responsibility on us. There is. I hope you got the most upstanding police officers in this unit because corruption is, is a thing everywhere. And as soon as you get somebody that's on the inside taking money from one of these people out here, It'll spread like wildfire. We have one more target left. The next one is located right in the heart of American territory. 
While the special unit continues with its hunt for the murderer, prostitutes Nikita and her friends are ready to hit the streets just a few blocks away. It's all part and parcel of their daily business. Nikita needs the money for her friends, to feed her son, and for her next hit. When I reach my target, I don't come home until I reach my target. What does our baby daddy do? Usually I reach my target over and over. Time to head to a location that promises a new source of income, West Coast Road. 20 to 60 euros, depending on the service. If he pays well enough, a single John means the chance to continue living this way for another 24 hours, at least. However, as the number of addicts rises, so too does the number of prostitutes. The market is crowded, and her young competitors are willing to do anything their customers want for decreasingly small amounts of money. The cheaper you become, the more weak you become on the road, and the more weaker the clients become on us girls that don't charge so little. Fifteen minutes later, the first clients arrive. They don't even got no panel on their door, and this is the... <laughs> Uh, Nikita leaves and Hold on, was the back was the what was that in the back? Is this a window back here? What I mean the bar is not set very high. You know what I'm saying? Nikita leaves empty-handed to begin with. And has to rely on her minders, Dumbas and Boyki, who are dealing nearby. I'm gonna come right out and say it. This is the worst outfit that I've seen ever in the history of life. Oh my God. For this to be the profession and this is the outfit, this is insane. Like, and I really feel like she from Lansing, Kentucky right now. Like this is the fit of a straight, exactly addict. Like this is, I'm, 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 I'm lost for words, honestly. She ain't even out here trying. Almost an hour later, two more jobs for 30 euros each in a life that others deem to be worth less. My middle sister was also like this, doing what I'm doing, okay? And she was bumped over by a car. Her whole body was broken into 144 pieces. That's an eye-opener for me. Is it? Men, I fight females, and I secure myself. A daily battle, which so far has left Nikita without any earnings. Her biggest fear? Obviously, her fit is trash. <laughs> like, well, I'm not even gonna hold it in. Like, what are you trying to? You about to go hoop? What you doing? Is that her son will grow up without a home? as is the case for the one and a half million street children in South Africa. Almost all of them from impoverished families. Most of the girls end up selling their bodies, while the boys wind up in gangs. All of the addicts, the prostitutes and henchmen of tomorrow. The ugly Americans in the ghost town no-go zone also offer future prospects for the younger generation, and they're expanding. Yeah, man, I'm on Twitch. Appreciate you. Hit Primarily that follow button. In the drugs trade. Killing machine Anis and knife master Boozy are currently dividing up half a kilo of crystal meth. More drugs, more money, more power. A simple philosophy, one that doesn't even seem to stop when the police are... I'm gonna be real, man. They got this gang task force, but... From what I'm seeing, y'all y'all, y'all efforts are focused in the wrong spot. There's zero opportunity out here. There's nothing for the kids to do. 
and with that combination, there's always going to be room for gangs to grow. So at this point, you just created a new task force, put new jobs in the environment for people who want to be police. Because this, the way this is looking, gang banging over here is going to be forever. It ain't right. gonna be okay. Got a crew living. Cops also, they come. 30 cops. They come, they can buy drugs here by us. We're smoking drugs. Tuck. Heroin. Anas loves the high, starting afresh every day. And he has his own special vision for the future of his no-go zone. Expansion. We build our, 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 our arsenal, you know? Weapons, what we need. Houses on enemies' grounds. We kill our swipe the enemies. We take the enemy grounds, we buy houses there, the enemy grounds, we make business there, we protect the house there, and so forth. And so, that is what we're doing. So, our, 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 our grounds are expanding. See, almost always, the Western countries are Americans. The killing machine doesn't fear the police, not even the anti gang unit. If they want to fight gangsterism, they're not gonna. It's, in history, it didn't work. Today, in, 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 in the future, it's not going to work. You can't wipe the American organization gang ever. You can dream about it. But if you wake up, you will see the Americans are still there. The drugs trade is booming in Ghost Town and far beyond the borders of the no-go zone. His customers will do almost anything to secure their next hit. They sell themselves, either their bodies or their souls, anything they have left. And, and secondly, I know this is a late question, but is that the real name of this town, Ghost Town? Ghost Town, South Africa, is, that's not crazy? Prostitution yeah? is illegal. It's set up for failure. Legal in South Africa. The official red light district was destroyed by the government a long time ago. Nevertheless, Nikita still scrapes through, day in and day out even though she knows that she can't do it forever. I can't really say I have hope, to be honest with you, because I don't, because if I did have hope, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now at the moment, because that's just stupid. If you've got hope, why do this? Go rather work or go get a job or something. Nikita and Ruveda, despite being trained in a career, became addicted to drugs, prostitution, the only way they can make enough money on a daily basis. They know that their time is slowly running out, but giving it up is not an option. They simply keep on going. It's terrible. But this is what happens on a daily basis. Some get, some don't, some lose, some win. Things happen. This is our life is on the road. We're a working girl. A little later, Roveda manages to make another 20 euros. More clients arrive as the night progresses, paying enough money for the day ahead and the next hit. A new shot of life for a few more hours of normality. Last night I had a client, I went out to the client, she wanted to go home. But this morning when I came back, I brought them beers, I brought them pizza, I brought them chocolate, money. We smoked, we did everything just like she wanted it and now we're still together. I don't think they're gonna leave. They're my best friends. Drugs, just like the ones sold in Ghost Town, under the leadership of one man. Dime. His apartment is just a stone's throw from the headquarters. He lives here with his wife and children, a normal life for all intents and purposes, and yet he trusts no one at all, which is why he always has an eye on what's going on around him. They call me un Nobody enters ghost town without us seeing them. Not a single person. But they see the police. We catch all of them. 
It doesn't matter if it's daytime, afternoon or during the night. No one can escape our cameras. Headquarters. Street, house, entrance and cars. Dimes watches over it all personally, 24-7. Look at this. These are my two cars. I watch over them, day and night. No one can mess around with them or plant a bomb in them. We watch them around the clock. As well as his cameras, Dimes has spies placed along all the borders of his patch. Any unfamiliar car, any potential intruder, and they are ready to strike straight away. My guys can stop any car. If the car doesn't stop, we open fire. The same goes for unknown pedestrians. If they start running, the bullet will fly after them. Ghost Town is like a... You gotta really be from there. No outsiders allowed. A high security zone. And one man plays a key role in it all. Anis. No matter who dares to enter the ugly American's patch, their life is in his hands. On his house, the meeting point for the foot soldiers. This is where they plan their next attack on rival gangs, using a whole lot of firepower, all under the command of Dimes. Of course, rival gangs always try to get in here, but they don't stand a chance. This is our country. These days, they're too scared to come in here. We shoot anyone who causes trouble. Then we go, shoot, 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 shoot. Then we kill him. We go to there by him, put another four, five, six, seven through his head, and we take his gun and we go back to our grounds. Sometimes we go into the house, we go kill five of them, we take three, four guns, we get on them there, and then we come back. An army of strung out killers. Real talking, I don't understand why they even. This is a small plot of land. They just got a gang task force, and y'all did an interview to show everybody's face who's anybody on here. Why? For whom every job, regardless of whether it involves money, drugs, or even human life, seems to be just part of one big game. Pipes, dice, and drugs. You kill someone, it's like, it's like, uh, woof, I don't feel it anymore. I don't think about it anymore. Yeah, because it's normal for me to go kill someone and to go come back. Because we are programmed for that. While Anas and his followers are preparing for the next attack, The anti-gang unit is still searching for the murderer, an American. However, the snitcher's information is contradictory. There are three man, man, running all in circles. When we arrive there, it's fast action. We need to do all three places at the same time, especially the premises that is on the top, because those people have the vantage point that they see us coming. So if there's anything illegal in that. Listen. From what uh, Buddy said, they know you coming from a long time before you even get there. Unless that's not true, what he said. Because if he got people on the outskirts and all on cameras. The house, they would be able to go and hide it or, or discard of it before we get onto the third floor of the premises. Go, 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 go. Maximum strength. Fully armed. Air reconnaissance. There is no way the American can escape. At first, the mission seems to be a dud. But then... 
under a car. Are you Miley? Che Miley? Miley, you're playing Miley. This Miley? Come, Johanna for you. He's coming what to be profiled. Mr. American. Da. What's that? The tattoo is evidence. He is definitely an American. And it doesn't take long for the suspect to confess. He claims to have been present during the brutal killing, but only as an accomplice. So what are you gonna do, start a snitcher? Cause this is, this is South Africa. You go into jail, this the numbers is there, right? Captain Arcia Kiafta's search still isn't over. The most important thing in all of this is to stop the perpetrator from committing an offense again. So it's not about making the arrest, but about getting the guy off the road so that he doesn't commit the same offense again. So although we found, we found one of the accomplices, we still don't have the actual shooter and we don't have the firearm. But this is the start. So from here, we'd be able to work with him, interrogate him, look who else has been arrested with him and identify other suspects from this. And hope that he gives a little bit of the snitch vibe. That's what they she really want to say. Winding up in prison in Cape Town involves much more than just serving your sentence. Most criminals end up in Pullsmore Prison, one of the toughest prisons in the world, a prison at war, and one which is controlled by the numbers gang. Yeah. Anyone who winds up here has to contend with a whole new set of rules. The gangs of the outside world don't exist inside Polesmore. Here, there is only the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Gang leaders. And you know what's crazy? When I was watching this documentary about the prison one, they say people on the outside come in here in order to get, to get rank and recognition to speed up their process. They go in a regular low bottom of the totem pole person, and then when they get out, they're at the top of the. Sh they're at the top because they've been in, and they've been accredited in actual number. Tattoo the numbers onto their new members, oh, branding them. Failure to follow their rules results in death. Even behind bars, it seems that police have no power. The boss of Ghost Town dimes has managed to avoid prison so far and keeps the no-go zone under his control. Even former prisoners have nothing to fear, providing they swear their allegiance to him. Every year, more and more members of my gang wind up in prison. The numbers gang is growing bigger and bigger inside the prison walls. We mostly have members of the 26th and 27th gang. Everyone says I'm a winner. They call me the chosen one. I've never been to prison once in all these years, and it's been 37 years now. Dimes will continue to defend his no-go zone to the last in a never-ending battle. And the anti-gang unit will keep on trying to crack Ghost Town. It is traumatic for anybody just to ride... Crack Ghost Town. It is traumatic for anybody just arriving on a scene alone where someone is shot. You know, by all means, it's a gangster lying there, but it is someone's child, someone's father, someone's brother. It's a human being lying there. A human being that is protected under the Constitution. All that's left is the hope that the children will find a new way through life. Their parents hope that they'll live the dream that they never had for themselves. Something that you're doing now, Mommy, is what you're teaching me not to do when I'm older. To start a life with mommy, yes, I'm sorry. I want to become an IT specialist. I want to become something, I want to be famous. I don't want to become what mommy is a street child. <laughs> so I don't believe he'll take drugs when he's older, no. It's not like my life, that's my everything. 
All this is a future. She say that, but it really seems like her everything is the addiction. Future that killing machine Anis has long since forgotten about for himself. Ghost Town will always be his whole life, right through to the yeah, death. They do what they want to and do. They don't die. And fake motherfuckers, they do what they are told to do. Just like Knife Master Boozy, he's even been known to get rid of gang affiliates to protect the future of the no-go zone, Ghost Town. I is the only one who can take one of our members out, and that is all of which is controlled by gang leader Don. He will never give up. He'll keep on fighting. His ghost town will continue to thrive. I'm free on my turf. Around me, in front of me, behind me. They're all scared of me. This place only belongs to one group. Us, the Americans. Ghost town. Very enlightening. It's a crazy town, low key. This is why you can't even walk through here to get. You gotta walk all. If you're trying to get somewhere else, you gotta walk all the way around, and not even come in close proximity. That's tough. Tell Lily we like coming. I'm gone.